Today, the design challenge that we are going to do is safe robot operation. Today, you're going to build your own robot that has a safety shutoff mechanism, just like the robots that John Wei works on at Boeing. In this design challenge, we're going to be working with circuits. So let's ask John Wei to tell us some things we need to know. In this case, we introduce open and closed circuits concept, where that circuit would basically tell the robot when it should stop and when it should move. An open circuit is a circuit that is incomplete. The electricity can't get to where it needs to go, so when a circuit is open, it is turned off. A closed circuit is a circuit that is working and has electricity flowing through every part of it. When a circuit is closed, it is turned on. Let's try this. Make a simple circuit that connects a battery to a motor. Use any conductive materials you want. Try using paper clips, aluminum foil, pipe cleaners, or wires. After you have a working circuit, separate two of the conductors so that they are no longer touching. This should make your motor turn off. When you touch them back together, your motor should turn back on. Congratulations! You have just switched back and forth between an open and closed circuit. This will be a key part of the design challenge, so try this a few more times. In this case, the circuit, whether it's open or closed, is determined by these two paper clips. Jean Wei has an open circuit on his design. If the two paper clips were to touch, he would have a closed circuit and his motor would rotate. Let's see how he closed the circuit so that his robot can move. So in our case, we built a platform where we used the uh, aluminum foil tape as the conductive material to tell the machine, the robot, that uh, it's safe to operate here. So whenever the robot is placed on that material, it will basically trigger the movement. Since aluminum foil conducts electricity, Jean Wei uses it to close the circuit on his robot so that his robot can move. When the aluminum foil touches the paper clips, it completes the circuit and the motor moves. And then whenever it reaches at the yellow stripe area here, which is like a restriction area, the paper here on this area acts as an insulation, where therefore when it reaches at the restriction area, it will stop. Paper is an insulator, which electricity doesn't flow through. So when the paper touches the two paper clips on the robot, the circuit goes from being in a closed circuit back to being open circuit. John Wei put a propeller on his motor to move his robot forwards. You can also make your robot shake by sticking something to the shaft of the motor, like a glue stick or a gummy. Try this out. Put a gummy on the shaft of your motor. Do you notice how it vibrates? Well, this is because the motor is off balance once you put the gummy on the shaft. Are you ready to build your own safety robot? Check out the challenge on Curiosity Machine.